how to cut uh, a bed jacket okay uh, you think this is your fabric okay you think this is your fabric uh, 36 inches enough okay uh, this one for front part uh, you should uh, measure your length of the garment I think uh, 24 uh, inches at at 4 inches 24 inches at 4 inches 28 inches okay for so this one uh, front part this one for back part uh, this uh, 36 inches enough and uh, your length of the garment at uh, 2 inches this one 4 inches back for back part 2 inches okay I'll fold like this okay for back part no yoke okay without yoke front part with yoke I fold like this this is my right side this is wrong side this is right side this is wrong side for back okay There are two selvages, okay, from, from selvage, uh, I measure 4 inches and I draw a vertical line, okay, vertical line, uh, take it like this, take it like this, okay. Can you understand? This one for back part, this one for front part. Okay. I'll pin like this. This one. This one for front part. This one for back part, okay? Like this. There are two selvages. For side for back part, okay? okay. And for this garment, uh, shoulder length. Uh, shoulder length 15 inches divided by 2 7 in and half, 7 and half inches uh, without sewing uh, seam allowance okay uh, 7 and half inches I measure 7 and half inches shoulder slope 1 and, one and half inches uh, for this garment uh, neck circumference 15 inches divided by 4 3 and 3 quarters uh, if you want uh, like uh, if you want or if you like you can uh, change uh, this uh, width of the uh, neck okay I measure three and three quarters I mark number one number two number three number four I connect number three and number four this is my shoulder line and uh, now I'm going to uh, measure uh, back neck line I measure two inches you can change one and a half or one no, uh, three inches, okay. Uh, this is my guidelines. Okay. Don't draw like this. This one better. going to draw armhole armhole length uh, seven and a half inches same to one to two measurement okay if you want to uh, change this one uh, you can uh, increase uh, one inch okay but I measure the same length uh, I measure again seven and a half inches like this. I connect these two numbers. I mark number five, number six, number seven. 
middle of the line 3 to 7 I mark number 8 I measure half inch into this side uh, 9, uh, 9 I mark 9 now I'm going to draw a back arm hole from head with the head pin. I measure uh, one inch, uh, three quarters, so uh, one inch, okay. Uh, I measure, I so, sorry, uh, I'll go on. I'm going to draw back arm hole, okay. Now I'm going to draw front arm hole. I connect number 3 and number 9 and extend to the arm hole line. I measure again uh, 2 inches from this line. Uh, I mark number 11, number 12. Now I'm going to now I'm going to draw uh, front arm hole like this. Okay. I'll measure, uh, sorry, bust circumference for this one 38 inches divided by 4, 9 and half inches and add 1 inch uh, for 10 and half inches without a same allowance, okay. Uh, now I'm going to draw front arm hole like curve, okay. From this side, okay. Uh, both are uh, should be same, but not same. I okay. Can you understand this point? Okay. No need to read uh, your tape. Okay, you can measure like this. Three uh, usually three and quarters. You should extend like this and this is my back shoulder line this one front this one back okay now both curves are same length uh, now I'm going to draw from H from number four number four mean HPS HPS mean high point of shoulder okay uh, the length of the garment uh, 24 inches at uh, 2 inches 26 inches okay from number 6 I draw like this okay uh, hem width hem width uh, for this garment hip circumference uh, 44 inches divided by 4 11 inches and add 2 inches then uh, 13 inches if you want uh, you can change this uh, length okay you can reduce or increase now I connect my side seam okay uh, and now I'm going to cut my back part that part okay I did half inch so in allowance for side seam I did half inch back arm hole curve Adding half inch uh, back shoulder line and uh, quarter inch enough for neck line like this. Okay. This is my back part. Okay. This is my back part.
full side. Now I'm going to cut my face in for back part. Draw neck line and draw shoulder line. You should measure two inches, two inches, two inches like this. Okay. You can hold up this side. You can hold up. If, uh, if you don't have uh, hold up machine, uh, you can fold and so like this. Okay. This is the facing, back facing. Uh, now, this is the front side. Keep like, keep like this. And uh, so, a uh, quarter inch, quarter inch and uh, cut like this and uh, turn like this and you should uh, measure so uh, top stitch okay this is our front part this is our front part uh, now i'm going to draw uh, front neckline i measure uh, six and a half inches enough for this garment if you want you can reduce or increase I draw like this okay uh, if you this is the middle of the line okay this is the middle of the line you should draw like this can you understand touching your uh, vertical line and touching your horizontal line okay if you like you can draw like this okay reduce one or one and a half like this this is the middle of the line touching this line and horizontal line both are correct okay both are uh, round curves now i'm going to draw uh, a yoke yoke line i measure two inches from this armhole line and from this this point uh, 45 angle uh, if you want you can change uh, this point uh, to down or to up okay upside This is my guidelines. This is my guideline. Okay. Uh, this is my York line. Your bus point uh, should be uh, less uh, down from this line. Okay. Now I'm going to cut like this. And now I'm going to cut uh, front arm hole, adding half inch. You should stop from this point, okay? And you should cut like this. There are two layers here. Now I'm going to measure one inch. Uh, sorry, not one inch, three and quarters, and uh, one and a half inch. Okay, for my front open for button buttons. Okay. I cut up. I cut off like this. Uh, you should fold like this you should fold like this because cutting your uh, neckline 
and cut a part inch from this line if you like you can from this line Now again, I'll cut adding half inch for my front armhole curve, and this is the uh, front shoulder line. Adding half inch, okay. Uh, you should measure. Uh, one and a half inch and three quarters one and a half inch and three quarters for buttons okay for open this area for uh, gathering uh, you should uh, stitch uh, you so a uh, stitch uh, loose stitch okay Keep number four and uh, a, uh, three uh, point three three uh, eight three eight. Okay. Uh, first of all, you attach like this. Okay. If you want, uh, if you want uh, lining, uh, you should cut. Uh, another two play, uh, parts okay uh, like this you should attach like this no need to gather this area and this area and this area close to armpit uh, you should gather okay. this is this is your bus point you should gather this area okay after attach after attaching uh, you should fold this one and a half inch both you can okay the, uh, then you should fold to your your throw side And thrown side. Okay. Uh, one and a half inch. I fold like this, and the other three quarters you should fold it like this. Okay. Uh, for uh, for um, uh, for ladies' items, uh, you should sew your button holes your right side. Okay. You should make sure uh, you should you should measure your uh, your armhole curve with with easy with loose okay uh, if you uh, your armhole curve sixteen inches uh, your body measurement uh, sixteen inches. Uh, this curve is equal to uh, should be uh, 18 inches or close close okay uh, for easy uh, uh, if you uh, for attach these two parts remain uh, you should you know, decrease your uh, sewing allowance okay then you put like okay you should do it otherwise your armhole um, curve not enough okay for sewing allowance these areas to attach these two parts okay you should do it This is our remaining, this is our remaining, 
they are uh, uh, four layers uh, I'll, I'm going to cut a three and a half inch for uh, for uh, trill okay the length of the fabric uh, more than your armhole curve uh, and three and a half inches you can change both measurements okay uh, I'll measure one inch one inch and cut like this okay uh, you should attach this side this is your hem okay your trill you cut you should cut like this okay uh, now I'm going to explain you how to draw your how to sew your uh, front neckline uh, uh, this is your uh, right uh, this is your lengthwise okay parallel to your cell edges uh, this side your crosswise okay uh, this is your bias okay bias you cut like this you fold it like this Okay, fold like this, uh, one, one and half, one inch, one inch or one and quarter inches, enough, okay. Uh, you should sew like this, this is your right side, your yoke, uh, your yoke. You should uh, sew uh, quarter inch and cut like this uh, and turn like this and again, sew again, okay. Okay. 